Bienvenuti to our, to our new video. Uh, we are in Italy, we yes. are on a road trip yes. to two regions, to Veneto and to Emilia Romana. And we're starting in? In Padova. We are now at the biggest square in Italy and one of the biggest squares in Europe, which is Prato della Valle. And it's a, it's a round square with a canal, with many beautiful buildings, statues. A good start, I have to say. Yeah. Now we're gonna check out the city and then move on to the next one. Padova was very nice, well worth uh, the visit. Uh, I would, my recommendation is especially the Basilica of Saint Anthony. It is really nice. It was Sunday, so it, the, the entry was free. Uh, some people also use it as a hub for Venice because it's so close and there are very, very good uh, train connections. Now we are in Vicenza. After the first two stops, we arrived at post-apocalyptic Verona. This is the main reason of our trip so far. We will... Main reason of the day. Ah, okay. Yeah. Of the day. Let's go and search for Romeo and Juliet. Main reason of our visit... Pasta! Juliet is not accepting visitors today. No. <laughs> so we will console ourselves with some comfort food. Yeah. But I think we've come just to the place. We are going to the city. Second attempt to find Juliet at home. As we mentioned before, there was a big, big storm yesterday, so we had we actually had to clear the parking spot of all the branches that fell from the tree yesterday. The funicular is closed. We are going up to Castel San Pietro, walking. What can we do? Everyone 
wants to see Juliet. Lovely, but it's not as romantic as Venice was two months ago. It was already a bit busy, but still, worth it. And now, because we were just so close, we came to Lake Garda, Lago di Garda, which is the biggest lake in Italy. And now we are enjoying the pool, but later we're going down to the lake, see what they have, how it looks like, have some gelato. Lago di Garda, so far, so good, really nice. Uh, the beach where we were before, here's the text. Uh, they let us in at 5:30 without entrance. Without fee. entrance. Usually, entrance fee for the whole day is 16. No, 13. 13. Now we're gonna hopefully go enjoy gelato as you promised before. But so far, it really feels nice. like being at the sea. It's a beautiful sanctuary dedicated to Virgin Mary. Uh, you park up in the village of, we'll leave the text in, and just walk down for like 15 minutes maybe. Alongside the path you will have the Passion of Christ. It is really well worth it. No entrance fee. One more tip before we go back to the lake. Come early. There's some mass at 10 o'clock and everyone's coming around 10 so try to be here at 9 is enough. So that you're done by 10. Yeah. Okay now back to the lake. We are back at the lake. In, In Sirmione. Sirmione. Because yesterday when we posted that we are on Lake Arta, everyone on Instagram was writing us, you have to see Sirmione. So we came here. <laughs> we did. It was really crowded in the beginning, yeah. so we had to park outside of the peninsula. Yeah, which is kind of like 30 minutes walk. But the parking is cheaper there. Yeah. So then we came here to the castle and then we went on a boat tour. It's 10 euro, 30 so minutes. We would definitely recommend yeah. it because you it's can nice. see the peninsula from all sides. Yeah. Because up until now everything was like privately owned, so we yeah. couldn't really get to the, to the beach. But north of this, uh, this place you can actually walk around the beach and look for if you want to swim look for jamaica beach it's a public beach where you can swim and it's really nice it looks it looks really nice. okay let's go to the city okay
random trivia about my my wife <laughs> she's probably one of the biggest fans of balsamic vinegar in the world uh, she doesn't use it as a dressing but she uses it as a, I would say as a side dish and of course I had to bring her to Modena <laughs> and now we are here at the tasting of balsamic vinegar and let's see how they make it and hopefully we'll get to try some Vinegar will never be the same again. <laughs> By sheer luck we ended up at the family who is the oldest in this uh, balsamic vinegar making industry actually and they've been the doing world. they've been doing it since 1605. Yes. Now we're off to Bologna. Oh! What? Before we go to Bologna, uh, the tour is free. Yeah. And at the end, and tasting is free. Everything is free. But at the end, I think they will they will have you, and you will buy something because it's so good. And it's not even that expensive. We bought some bottles. We even bought their best. I, uh, from the IGP line, from, and in total, IGP, we paid yeah, I think around seven euro, euro so. which is good. And now it's Bologna time. We came to the tourist info to get the map, and Simona is figuring out what we're going to see. Any plans? Yes, I would like to go to Vito San Luca, which is outside of the city with a great view of the city. Then here in the city center we have many old buildings. I would like to see the library and the stuff around the old Black of the Fisher. <laughs> I would like to see the stuff around the old university because as we all know, the first university mm -hmm. was founded in Bologna. Founded in Bologna, yes. Otherwise, try some cheese, Parmigiano, Teggiano, and yeah. It's already quite hot, so we're gonna try to stick to the to the shade as much as possible. That was a quick lunch break in Mercato di Mezzo. Oh, I, I had to look. Uh, it's a very good alternative because yesterday for dinner we saw that maybe the food is a little bit expensive, but here it is uh, very reasonable uh, for a sh No coperto. No coperto. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> the know. tiramisu was really good, the coffee was good, uh, and the pasta. pasta was good, so come here. Yeah. Moving on. After our proper Mediterranean siesta, we're heading to uh, San Luca or Madonna di San Luca. Oh, yeah. uh, you just take the bus number 20, 20 and then you start walking up the longest portico in the world. What is this? This is a combination of these archways and there are 666 all the way up to the top. And Bologna has around 40k, 40 kilometers of those archways through the city.
think this was my favorite thing in Bologna, mm. the Madonna di San Luca. Uh, but after this hike now, food. We were just too hungry before. <laughs> we forgot to film. Uh, we like Bologna. Uh, we had two nights, so one full day, and I think that is enough for to see the basics. You can also spend just one night. Definitely do not miss Madonna di San Luca. Yeah. I think that, as I said, I think that was our favorite. That yeah, was really nice. And also the old market district. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice shops. So much good food. Just the portions are a little small for us. I don't know if our, I don't know if we are small pigs or I don't know. Uh, we're to stay definitely in the historic center because uh, yeah, it's easier. If you have a car, you're gonna pay for parking. Just deal with that. Tomorrow morning, moving on. A new day has brought us to. A new country to San Marino. Yes. In the times of uh, pandemic, we managed to add a new country to our list. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know how how this is still a thing. It's an enclave in the middle of Italy, and you just drive up to it. We parked for one euro fifty per hour, Oregon. and it's the fifth smallest country in the world. Thank you for that. Let's see. back at the car it took us a little bit less than two hours uh, to see the whole thing I think maybe you can st uh, stretch it up to three or four if you want to go to the castle and stuff but I had ni a nice breakfast um, but couldn't have different plans now food and drinks are cheaper than in Bologna but the plan is what to go to the beach to go to the beach oh, yeah. And this is Rimini uh, and this is a classical example of this Italian beach system of Lidos where you have to uh, pay to get to the beach and we there found are some uh, free beaches but not many not many but we found the cheapest version is that you just rent a, a beach chair uh, for six euro without without, without the umbrella, the umbrella. So, okay. so you can go to the beach and use the facilities and we did just that because we're not going to stay for the entire day but yeah the water um, we just got spoiled a little bit uh, on our last trip in Croatia with the clarity but it's still nice you can swim and it's warm After the beach we arrived in Ravenna yes. and on the way here we stopped at the in Cesanatico or something like that it's a great stop it's in the middle and it's kind of a small town with canals and a cool boat museum or something like that yeah um, we are here only for one night and we'll see what we can do I think the main attraction is the Dante's okay. grave we'll try to see that but we'll do that in the morning because now it's closed because it's already quite late Let's see what we can do here. Dante's tomb is being 
renovated. Ravenna. Uh, now we actually saw that the main thing actually here are the mosaics. But if you want to see them all, there's only a joint ticket, which is, which is 12 euro. Yeah, no, we didn't have time for that, but 12 euro, and I think there are like five different places where you can see them. Yes, but if you look closely in the churches, you can see the mosaics. So yeah, so you don't have to pay for the ticket to you can actually see them. But if you're interested, of course, do that. So far, Ravenna felt the most local. Moving on. And now we are in Kyoja. Uh, I wanted to take Simona here because I've been here actually before with the university and I remember it being it was like small Venice. Would you say it is? Um, yeah, it is a little bit. A little bit, a small version. But on the way here we stopped at the... Where? <laughs> I forgot the name. <laughs> Machoto. On the way here we stopped at, I think it's called Comacho, Comacho, something like that which is also a lovely lagoon city with that's funny <laughs> with uh with canals and uh, i think they are famous for eel hunting or fishing or how this it looked called. very photogenic but now let's take a walk around kyoja And that was our last stop. Uh, sorry for doing this at a random place, but we're losing daylight, so we have to do it. And for some reason, somehow, Simona, always you manage to come here every time we're in the area to the outlet in Noventa de Piave. But then I end up uh, getting something and you don't. Usually. Yeah. Uh, our trip to Veneto and uh, Emilia Romana uh, has come to an end. If you want to see more about the crown jewel of Veneto or Venice, check out our video of our perfect weekend in Venice, which we went on, I think, a couple of months ago. Months. I would say I really uh, enjoyed the trip, but what I would recommend, don't do it in the summer. It's hot, it's a little bit crowded, and it's hot. <laughs> it's very hot, unless, I mean, you're not at the seaside, if you can stretch your budget a little bit, maybe get something with a pool, but that can get quite pricey. Especially in August. <laughs> Don't come in August, because in August, all the Italians have Ferragosto, and they're not at home. They are there where you are. I think a perfect time would be like late fall, early, early spring, maybe. Yeah. We hope you liked the video. As always, like and subscribe somewhere here. And see you next time. We'll see when and where. Now we can go home.